Well, the Low Income Housing Institute is the group tasked with pulling this off. They say they're looking at about 12 sites right now, have yet to narrow it down to where this could actually become a reality, though they say the services they provide are desperately needed. Notices are up in Seattle's Mount Baker neighborhood. Move your property or it will be cleared or in some cases towed. For folks that are homeless and living in an RV, it's their biggest asset. Um, these are folks that often the homelessness system has failed before, and so they've become self-reliant. The city of Seattle is once again enforcing its 72-hour parking rule. That rule partially put on pause during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is Mayor Bruce Harrell unveiled a new aggressive response to homelessness earlier this month. In total, Harrell says the city of Seattle is spending $173 million toward everything from developing affordable housing to the creation of new so-called safe lots for RV and camper parking. The program seeks to serve about 35 RVs, which would serve 50 people, and it's going to have some pretty intensive case management services attached to it, as well as behavioral health. The goal is to eventually move folks out of the RVs and into permanent housing. The idea itself is it new. And two weeks ago, Olympia unveiled its own similar version. Rather than tow, the city is allowing for free permits for campers. But there are restrictions. One single cooking appliance, one generator, one plastic metal lawn chair per person. The city of Olympia says they have no shelter space. And as a result, started what's believed to be the first permit program in the U.S. Back in Seattle and Lehigh, the nonprofit will have nearly $2 million in the next six months to secure a lot and begin hosting campers. This is a very vulnerable population, uh, so there is huge urgency to get this program set up and we're working as quickly as we can to do so. A program that starts with camping, but hopes to connect residents to whatever long-term services they may need. To qualify and to stay in these safe RV lots, residents have to abide by Lehigh's code of conduct. That's the nonprofit. It means no drugs and alcohol in public spaces, and they must meet with case managers at least twice a month. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.